guys how are you i hope you'll be fine so today our topic is what's with a central bank digital currency means for the canada we ask five experts so let's start the bank of canada is exploring wherever you we need a national digital currency five financial experts hype it on the uh, uh, potential benefits and risks first of all like my video and subscribe my channel so let's start our video so canadians have long embraced digital transaction we make uh, our purchase payables and transfer money to people around the world with the tap of a card or a click of a button every single day we do all of this using regular government back canadian dollars so uh, yet the Bank of Canada is actively uh, researching the idea of central bank digital currency in Canada through it does not see an immediate need for a Canadian CBDC the BOC and preparing for the possibility that cash may one day fall out of use entirely it's not alone central bank in many other countries are also a part of a digital currency so the launch of so thought it does not see uh, immediate needs for the Canadian CBDC and BOC is preparing for the possibility and possibility that cash may uh, one day fall out of use entirely. It's not alone. Central banks is many other countries are also uh, pondering a digital currency. So the launch of the Canadian uh, an uncomfortable and uncomfortable is a first need uh, acronym that doesn't do um, digital learning just it would have uh, wide ranging applications implications the Canadian banking system and Canadian access to legal standards for insight on what to expect for a digital loan. We asked for five many experts with different financial um uh, financial specialties to share their perspective you can read their responses below. So but first let's talk at what uh B uh C D uh, sorry, CBDCs are so how they work, and uh, we're the Bank of the Canada experts to introduce one. So, what is CBDC, aka and Cupcoin? So, um, central bank is the digital form of the fiat money currency declaration and the legal tender of the government decrees. So, uh, it's a fiat money and informally called a Cupcoin, a, a CBDC, a digital dollar is backed and regulated by a country central uh, bank and service uh, as legal tender and uh, operates within a, a centralized system meaning digital transactions uh, would be secure and reliable a Canadians would do functional exactly like cash expect you would also be able to use it for online purchase and send it il electri electronically to other people and companies uh, including the financial institute and anywhere you pay your bills so uh, is digital currency is coming to Canada not here the um, uh, BOC say it doesn't see a need for a digital dollar right now uh, however it's studying the issue with the expectations their Canadian uh, may need on the in the future and uh, so in issues with the expectation that Canadian may need on the future and also it's the uh, popward to issue and regulate the digital variants of our natural currency as it does in the Canadian coins and bills the uh, federal government would uh, ultimately determine if or uh, time to issue a digital dollar so when will uh, Canada's uh, CBDC launch so there is a currently no plan to introduce a CBDC in Canada and rather than the BOC is there searching the need for one in the future as such it held a uh, public consultations for uh, my and you ask the respondent about the features of the CBDC that would matter most of them. So over the 85,000 Canadians uh, participated their feedback in now being shared with the researchers and the uh, policy maker and it will be included in a report coming later to their years. So our CBDC is the same as the cryptocurrencies. No, there are a uh, fundamental difference between uh, and uh, CBDCs and cryptocurrencies. So here are some of the main ones. Regulations, acceptance, volatility and purpose so regulations is here uh, cbdc's are issued by and regulated by central banks whereas anyone can start cryptocurrencies and they are not Ill, uh, legal tender in canada they are viewed as the uh, commodities are by um, uh, by necessity and uh, centralized while crypto is by design centralization used to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer transaction without the intermediate so acceptance have to the same status as physically crash in the uh, current uh, country a country in which they are issued while the acceptance of the cryptocurrencies as a form of currencies various and in terms of which is the Canadian. So next we have the volatility, the value of the uh, digital uh, Canadian dollars and um, uh, would not change. For example, 
uh, you can see the ten dollar is the digital Canadian dollars would have the same value as a ten dollar banknote. So in contrast, the value of the cryptocurrency exchange all a time relative to the Canadian dollars. However, there are a set of the crypto called the uh, stable coin which are tied to the US dollars. The purpose is here. Uh, CBDCs are designed to make them financial system more effective secure and exclusive in contrast cryptocurrencies have a wide range of the application including the enabling peer-to-peer -peer transition and serving as a form of uh, a speculative in investment stem operate outside of the centralized banking system and trading crypto carriers a wide range of risks. how many countries have a cbdc so you can see in many forms so i hope you understand thanks for watching this video like my video and subscribe my channel goodbye